Hey there friends and welcome back to Strange Rebel Gaming. I'm Brianna White and today we're going to be playing through the next part of episode 5, the final episode of Life is Strange 2. I am very excited to see if these boys get something good for once in this darn game because my goodness, I just want them to be happy. Take a second before we begin to hit the like button as I give a huge shout out to our patron of the day, Stephanie. Stephanie, thank you so much for your amazing support. It means so much to me and you've supported me in so many different ways. I really, really, really appreciate it. For those of you who don't know, Life is Strange is a highly demonetizable series on YouTube because of the copyrighted music, which I choose to leave in. I make almost no money on Life is Strange, and that's okay with me because I have the support of patrons like Stephanie. So if you would like to support for that reason, if you like this content and you want to keep seeing more and you want me to stress a little bit less about demonetization, click the link in the description below or visit patreon.com slash thestrangerebel to take a look at some of the rewards. But you don't have to pick a reward tier if you don't want. Patreon allows you to contribute any amount, even just a dollar. And if you did, I would be so appreciative. So, so grateful. And now, let's get on to the gameplay video. Enjoy! Hey, I'm gonna go see what Joanne is doing. <laughs> go for it. I have to bring back the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. I'll be honest, it really bothers me that her name is spelled... Went to town for weekly supplies. That her name is... Some pancakes left in the kitchen. <laughs> that her soon. name is spelled Joan, but is pronounced Joanne. It's driving me crazy. Every time I read it, I'm like, oh, her name is Joan, but then they call her Joanne. Daniel, you copy? Yes, I read you. 10-4. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat, pancake alert. Oh, man. Sorry, I was gonna eat with Joanne. Over and out. 10-4. No flying pancakes today. Okay, so we looked at all of these things, but sometimes with Life is Strange, nice it... Like triggers change. something when you interact with something. So we're just gonna go really quickly it's and nice re-interact with all of these again. things. Sometimes it opens <laughs> up a dialogue option yeah, or something little like team. that. Okay. Well, we technically interacted with it, so. Oh yeah, and we took this USB key, but we don't know what it does yet. Okay, and we're looking at these this poems. Really, this one's pretty intense. We already read those. A letter. Whoa. I hope Karen sends this to Claire and Steven. We read that. Either Karen was desperate for we a job. We read that. Karen has been camping in her own house since we arrived. We already read that. <laughs> Karen doesn't even like to leave this place just to go... Karen must have been so excited um, to finally hit New York. Picture. Karen looks so young and fragile on this picture. Of Maggie and Karen from mm -hmm. Kissimmee, Florida. Looks like they all finally found their the home. Commune guests. Uh, Jacob's letter we read. I'm so glad Jacob. <laughs> so cute. And we tidied up the clothes and then saw Karen's kind of like secret box underneath. And so we're gonna look in the box with the letters oh. about Is that the same her manuscript. Daniel's big We looked at the candles. Made him feel so happy. We ate One some thing, pancakes Claire like a savage time. with our hands. Love for pancakes. We listened to Sean chewing. It's fine. We noticed that Karen likes to put hot Do sauce on her pancakes, her pancakes and hot which sauce. is just horrifying. Ugh, gross. And we looked at the fan. Man, 
I'm still not used to this heat out here. Okay, so here is pretty close to where we left off. We looked at Karen's tabs at the laptop. I had no clue Karen takes on some small piece of And Sean's Brody's tab, so oh, Brody's letter, situations. right? Okay. Yeah, I ghosted her. Yeah. Okay. I'm so glad to see Lila's back. So now we're all caught up. Good. Okay. Now we're going to figure Karen out letting us what the space. USB key does, what its purpose is. After all these years. That's something. I, whoa. I should have gone through that flash drive weeks ago. Why? Can I click on it? No. Okay, math homework, movies and stuff, other crap, pictures, misty mice tickets, .pdf, drawings. Hey, Dad. Oh, boys. Lila always knew how to crack me up. Oh, sad. Check. Use check. What? Whoa. We. Hey, Dad. Lila always knew how to crack me up. Whoa. Why is there two? I should have gone through that flash drive weeks ago. You can check USB key or use USB key, but they lead to the same thing. That's kind of weird. Maybe we'll figure it out later. Dad was an absolute fan of this movie. Chupacabras <laughs> from outer space. Okay, we have snake clamp. Ugh. I wish Karen didn't tell me she got a rattlesnake out of the toilet last week. <laughs> <sighs> Gotta keep my eye lube handy. Glad I don't need it as much. Um, can you imagine a I rattlesnake in the diapers, toilet? But it feels kind of awkward to be here. Oh, Sean, you're a teenage boy, but it's just a bra. Okay. Um, okay, let's read Cassidy's letter. Didn't realize how much I miss Cassidy's voice. And her songs. And... Oh, dude. Dude? Hola, sexy boy. No more city boy. Jake hooked me up with your P.O. box, so now you can't hide from your old crew anymore. I know you took off from the hospital, and I'm glad you're still going down to Mexico. We've all been fugitives on the run, but you and Daniel are the kings of the road. I hope you finally get back home. Of course, I'm not yet ready to settle yet, so we're all hanging out in Colorado. The idea is trying to get as far away of the West Coast as possible. Too many ghosts for now. Hard to believe Finn isn't here to start shit, and we don't miss him for that. But he'll get a few more songs out of me. We all want to remember him for his angels, not his demons. I miss you. I would love to take a road trip out of this shithole, and it would be great to swim with you again. So you better let me know when you hit Mexico, Sean. Don't make me track you down. Here, I'll even give you my number, so no excuses. Love, Cassidy. So good to have a home. Again. Even a home with rattlesnakes Tend in the toilets, though? I don't know. Does Mexico have rattlesnakes? Yes. Yes, it does. <laughs> Arthur and Stanley probably want their telescope back. Mm, they probably do. All right, so I think we got everything in the trailer. Karen did help us a lot since she found me and Daniel. Better late than never. Karen practices what she preaches. She barters with her food, not money. Now, if I know plants, which I know some plants, this looks like basil to me. 
I mean, sure, it could be any other plant too, but they did a decent job of making the different. <laughs> Looking at Wait, this place. Wait, this looks like basil too. I see the Karen really wants. So it kind of looks like they just all. animated like generic <laughs> leaves, Literally. but these leaves look like basil leaves. Anyways, this um, looks like I don't know generic plant. Honestly, it kind of looks like pineapple tops, but I'm I'm sure that's not what it is. Maybe aloe or onions or something. This also looks like basil. <laughs> Just basil. We could also try to be self-sufficient when we're in Mexico. Oh, I'll take a sticker. Sure. Souvenir. Take. Okay, what else we got here? All right, let's, oh, a water tank, hello. Water management is kind of a big thing around here. It is the desert, it makes sense. Dude, we could put red food coloring in the water and turn this into a blood tank. Yeah, but then everybody would freak out. Plus, you can't do food coloring out here. Karen taught me some cool off the grid shit. Oh, interesting. We could climb up there, maybe do some drawing. That's cool. What do we have here? Stumbling from failure to failure. That looks like something no Sean made. What before. Ooh, Karen, you are so busted. Beaver Creek is the place where she grew up. Hey, do you miss Beaver Creek? I miss having a house. But the town was kind of dead. But I really miss Chris. And Grandma and Grandpa. I'm just glad we're still a family out there. Excuse me, water boy. <laughs> Did you remember to feed the crops? I could grow stuff like she can. Uh, maybe in Mexico. Oh yeah. We can grow a lot of stuff there. So I guess Karen has a green thumb. Guess people came here with ease and never left. That's a lot of cars. You think that many people came here and never left? That's kind of a lot. All right, so we're just kind of, you know, I wandering around exploring. Okay, I know forget. that's your mission. This place is the ultimate playground for Daniel. They should totally build a dirt bike track. That would be so cool for Daniel. I mean, it looks glorious. I love how they recycle everything into art, construction, or agriculture here. Well, right now, that's just a pile of junk. So, needs a little bit more work. Love the energy out here. With everyone building stuff as they please. That is pretty cool. I'm sure it's very creative. We helped Joanne set up this giant <laughs> vacuum with binoculars, as David calls it. Her name is spelled Joan, and it bothers me every time. It's so cool that people want to give a second life to their stuff. Oh, that's stuff. cool. A swap box. A take one, leave one kind of thing. I like that for stuff. That's cool. All right, what else we got? David always wants to help. But he's tough to figure out. Okay, are we going to visit David or... I hope the UFOs are listening. Little bit of a conspiracy theorist. Okay. A supposedly fun thing I'll never this is do such a again. Weird fucking place. But that's what's cool about it. That's kind of cute. Pretty smart. You're never gonna run out of sun in the desert. Well, I hope you know how to maintain those solar panels yourself. 
Okay. Well, this is a very big area to explore. <laughs> it's kind of huge. It's making me feel a lot of stress. Mark, you don't shit where you sleep, kid. <laughs> okay, David. Thanks for the explanation. What are you saying? Please tell me I am not looking at a copper pot of human waste. I could get used to that scenery. Um, okay. Love watching movies under the stars. Like a drive-in with no cars. Dude, remember when you totally fell asleep during that Bollywood flick? Because it was so lame after those cool cartoons. <laughs> Whatever. You missed Priya and Stanley teaching me how to dance. No, I didn't. You can't dance, dude. <laughs> we forgot to climb on top of the caravan, so we're gonna do that now. This is pretty cool. You got yourself a nice little rooftop patio. Observe. Okay, just draw now. And sketch. Don't think about anything else. Like an artiste. That's how sketching works, hmm. right? Pretty good. I'm pretty like I'm, pretty, like, I'm convinced from this game that all I have to do to be an artist is this, and then this. I'm. I mean, I'm an artist now, right? Pretty sure I nailed it. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. Hmm. Yeah. Needs a little bit more shadow over here. And then then there. Yeah. Let's see, a wolf pack or a biomechanical fantasy? Let's go wolf pack. Why not? Okay. Just draw now. Don't think about anything else. Ah, it's a POV. A point of view. From behind the wolf's head? There's a second wolf? No, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. It's now art. I can see why Karen likes it out here. It just took a while. She really doesn't want to be a part of society. Except just this tiny one. She did screw us over, though. But Daniel's so happy to have her back. Get to know her. I still don't know how I feel. Yeah, that's really tough. Because Daniel, you know, Karen left when Daniel was still a baby. So Daniel had no memories of her. And that is what hurt him the most. That was him, his deepest pain that he didn't know his mother at all. But Sean, on the other hand, was eight-ish when she left, and so he had the pain of not just knowing her, but her choosing to leave after knowing him, after loving him and being his mother for eight years, she chose to leave him. And I'm sure that's his deepest hurt. I'm sure he feels somehow responsible and that's not going to be fixed by anything. So where Daniel has the chance to heal here, Sean sort of just has to forgive and move on. That's really tough. Oh, let's leave this. Look at the shadows. Look how cool that looks. This is the view. 
anyways. <laughs> I just had to enjoy it. Okay, so we've looked at that house. Now, there's so many houses. When I say I'm getting stressed out, it's because there's so many different areas to explore. And I am the type of person who wants to explore it all. So I'm like, how much is there? I'm gonna get lost. How do I keep this organized? But this is where people come to get old. When I'm playing an RPG that has a really big expansive map, I tend to follow the outward edge to explore everything. So maybe we'll follow that kind of technique here, but I don't know. It's Chewing hard to keep track throw of. A total rager out here. But without asshole neighbors. There's power cuts all the time here. But no one's really bothered by it. Joanne says she needs all this junk to grow inspiration from. Some metal pine cones? Okay. Karen and Joanne spend evenings playing and chatting. <sighs> kind of like me and Lila. It's nice that they're friends. Back in the day. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. What else do we have? What's here? up, Joanne? Oh, see for yourself. Man, check this out. Okay, Daniel, let's take a little break. Got it. That child is something special. Yeah, I hear this one a lot. Don't worry. Mm, yeah, I bet. <laughs> But you have your own talent, Sean. I'm dead serious. <laughs> talent? Thanks. But I still have a lot to learn. Of course you do. Only dumbasses think they know everything. It's okay to not know stuff. <sighs> Don't That's a life worry lesson so right much there. about the outcome. An artist has to take a leap of faith about every other week. Did you always want to be an artist? <laughs> Good grief, no. I tried very hard not to be one. Till I realized it was useless. Listen, if you want to be an artist, you will be. <laughs> it's not always easy, but in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Speaking of, do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh, I don't know if I can. Yes, you can. I just need your input, okay? <sighs> okay, sure, <laughs> why not? Ah, there you go. Now, go stand over there. Daniel, you ready to start again? Oh, yes. He didn't even oh. stop, ever. So, for my next trick, I'd love to see if you can connect these three pieces. I've made a model of what I have in mind here, but go ahead and be the artist. And we don't need a crane to lift this stuff. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. Hell yeah. Let's do this. Okay. <clears throat> so... In theory, she wants us to put the head on top of the arms on top of the belly. But we can kind of do our own thing, it looks like. Man, I thought my art was weird. <sighs> looks like a freaking steampunk spider. Maybe that's supposed to represent the earth. Ready? Or a ball. So then, I don't know. Should we just do what she wants us to do or should we change it up? Already, my brain is like, but what if she doesn't like what we make? She could just remake it. But is that gonna affect my choices? Am I gonna get in trouble? Is Joanne gonna be mad at me? Oh, I overthink this game like shot. crazy. First thought, 
best thought. First thought, best thought. Just do what mm. you want. Okay. I'll just no. do what you want me to do. Okay. Let's move Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. Total. Be careful, Daniel. Don't want you to get hurt. What? No. Oh, there's a fourth piece. Maybe you should keep the same bottom piece. Don't you think? Daniel. You know every artist sees. I see, I see. Okay, different. so I know. I just wanted to help him see it in my way. Hmm. Let's cut the pancake head for now. See, Sean. Okay, so the pedestal is the base, <clears throat> which means the next step would be ball here. Okay, Daniel. Can you slam dunk the earth ball onto the base? Watch this layup. Oh, you should totally do like the model, but with the spider on top. Like the model, but with the spider on top? All right, kid. Activate. Pancake head. There he goes. <laughs> I don't know who whose advice to follow. Daniel's? Joanne's? Or my own? Oh, I see where you're going with this. Oh, that, that makes one of you. Uh, where is he going? Now, let's throw on that spider. Sweet. Well, that looks horrible. <laughs> okay. How about turning that pancake head? Watch this. That was a good adjustment, I think. Are we just going to leave it in this orientation? Is it? Yeah, it's going to keep watch over the entrance. Sure. Okay. Well, you know, let's 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 turn the belly. Why don't we? Let's turn it to the right. Hey, can you turn that earth ball around a little bit? You got it. Wow. Stunning. Simply stunning. Okay. We're done. We're done here. It's perfect. Couldn't get any better. I feel like we're almost done. No, we're done. Well, I think this is it. That's it. Looks good to me. Only if the muse approves. Oh, yeah. It's super cool. It's literally what you said you wanted. It's exactly what I wanted. You did a great job, Inanna. Well, Sean, Daniel, I think art might be in your family DNA. There's no escape. I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. It looks so bad. <laughs> it's Joanne's so ugly. So art. That's cool, Joanne trusted me to help I build her sculpture. Like it, it's kind of like this. Yeah, I've read about it. It's a video game, right? Yes, and you can build whatever you want in it. Ooh, you have to show me then. Precarious patriot, shrouded in dust. Okay, so back to exploring, seems like. Yeah, you hate it. Should I, I mean, how far out here can we go? Is there even a reason? This part no, of town no, is dead no. this time of year. I should stay around here. I miss those bus trips with Lila and the guys. What's the story with this one? Mm, it's been there for a long time. Through many a dust storm, and probably monsoon. Okay, so it seems like that was pretty much all there is to do in this little quadrant, which is kind of re relieving, so we can move on I to should other bring things. The telescope back to Arden Stan oh, if you mention that telescope one more time, I might just die. You okay, Joanne? Yeah, as fine as frogs here, sweetie. I, I like to take a good look at a piece after I'm done working on it. Uh, it helps me connect with it. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me be a part of it. Oh, thank you, Sean. 
see you around, hun. Artists are weird, but I like it. Ah, uh, sit down in your thinking chair trip. and think. It's kind of like a desert mirage. You think you can see it, but the closer you get, it changes. I thought the people here would be like freaks, but they're just sick of the bullshit. Now I sound like a local. I guess I'm always going to be a visitor. Yeah, that's such an interesting concept, the idea that he's always going to be a visitor. I'm kind of, I keep, this concept keeps coming up and I keep talking about it, but Sean and Daniel, ever since that first moment in episode one, have been visitors. They've been drifters. They've been nomads. They have traveled from place to place and they've found places to spend time but they've never settled and so what does settling mean to them what will be required for them to settle and are they ever going to is that sort of the theme of you know when your life gets shaken up so dramatically do you ever feel safe settling again having been yanked so dramatically from that safety from that home do you ever find that again or are you just always going to be searching? Because I think... I'm going to be sad if they never settle down. <laughs> I'm going to be real sad for them. I wish Daniel wasn't the only kid in town. Yeah. That's not good for him. Okay. Hmm. Arthur and Stanley probably want their telescope. Oh, so that's helpful. They don't actually let me go that way. Good. Okay. I bet Hippie started this place. I'm starting to see why now. Welcome to Away. Leave the past today. You can forever stay. The Founding Sisters. Population? Question marks. That's pretty cute. Okay, so can we go this way then? No, okay, we can't go past this rock. So there's this little area here. Let's see how far out we can go here. This part of town is dead this time okay. of year. Okay, well, I this is severely here. limiting the distance I have to trek. <laughs> Remember when I first got here and I was like, oh no, how am I going to explore this whole town? I feel better now. <laughs> now that's some real patriots. That's right. Real patriots indeed. Eat mankind, not animals. Happy cacti. <laughs> Morning, Sean. Good morning. morning. Oh, not again. What? <laughs> it's kind of cute, though. What? What do you mean, not again? <laughs> you think they picked this up at the gas station? I hope not. It's too cute. <laughs> oh, that's Looks right. Like the Weren't there some I weird sure carved bears around. at that gas station? He was a good guy. I wonder if that's what he was saying not again to. Like he never wanted to see another carved bear. A bench. We love benches in the strange rebel community. <laughs> we love them are indeed. Like social directors here. I still love to party. That's cute. Townie equals cray cray. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means at all. I should bring the telescope back to Arden Stand before I forget. 
Now, this group of people who live in a way, they have mastered the subtle art of not giving an F. They know exactly what they give an F about and what they don't. They don't care that townie equals cray cray doesn't mean anything and doesn't make any sense at all. But somebody felt inspired to write it and they were like, you live your truth. I love that. We could all embrace a little bit more of that. I don't know if I could embrace the like live in a commune completely, but I, I love the idea that you can just not care about some things because some things don't matter. Look at that. I thought there was only vultures in the desert. That's an empty box. That gave you hope that there's more than vultures in the desert? Because let me remind you, that's just an empty box. Good talk. Wish I could be as cool and as wise as these guys when I get older. Life is a journey, blah, 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 which they scribbled over with. Life is a journey, better stay home. <laughs> Life? Nah, that sounds difficult and dangerous. Better stay home. It also works in COVID times. Arthur and Stanley cannot wait for <gasps> the 4th of July. That's so fun. They can actually do fireworks mm. safely. Oh, that would be so cool. Already in. I've seen some shit, says this dog. Oh, Daniel's drawing. Pow, don't do bad, please. Yeah. Oh, it's Chris. Daniel still misses Chris. Hey, your Captain Spirit drawing was awesome. I could show it to Chris. Do you think he could visit us down in Puerto Lobos? Mm, kind of doubt it. Yep. But I'm not going to say Let's that to my 10 year old brother. Yeah. Instead of snowmen, we can make sandcastles. Let him have hope. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, we have explored the whole town. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, cool. I am feeling so much better. <laughs> Whew. Arthur and Stanley probably want their telescope back. I'm also just going to make a quick point as someone who does own plants to say no. This, no. This type of tree is an indoor tree. A low indirect light tree. This kind of tree will never exist outside in the desert. Same with this house plant. It's called a house plant because it belongs in houses. It would never survive the desert. It would get leaf burn. It would get dehydrated. Just no. Maybe they are fake plants, but I'm telling you they would not survive if they were real. What are these little guys? These look like ferns. No, excuse me, they're tomatoes. T tomatoes would live. Because as you see, they've done a very good job of setting them up in partial shade. So they get sun during the morning, but during the afternoon when it's hottest, they only get shade. So as long as they keep them watered pretty well, they would do okay. However, they don't really do so well as hanging plants. They need a fence, you know, to climb because they're kind of vine growers. They do best in that way. So these, these wouldn't really have big old tomatoes on them like this. They really wouldn't. Anyways. Is it time to return the telescope? It is time. Look at these cute men. Oh my gosh, I love them. Hey. What's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. And dust free. 
Thanks. Dust free. So much. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. No kidding. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? <sighs> Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. I can you'll be here long after we're gone. Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. Does she come visiting often? Not as much as I'd want. Aww. Can't really blame her. But you know, well, some parts of the year, this place is full of friends and family. Christmas, for example. So, why did you come out here? Because we got tired of people's bullshit. Things change. But being gay is still dangerous. The end. Sean, I'm almost 60, and I was a happily married man for 20 years until I came out. I don't blame my family for being in shock, but I didn't think they disowned me. Aww. My other daughters won't even talk to me anymore. <sighs> so why stay? After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. The Bay so the Area? Bay. I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel find our own way. You will. People come here to reset their life, become the person they want to be or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll remember that on the next hike. I'm gonna hang around before it gets too hot. Thanks for the desert, Brew. <laughs> These two remind me of Claire and Steven. In a weird, hippie version. Man, I wish people just loved one another. I just want people to get along. Just love people. It's not complicated. What's our mission now? Wait for Karen. All right. We don't have any, but we got a one of those, and we got a one of those. We didn't give Joanne back her curry container, but I guess that's not really a concern. So I guess we wait for Karen to come back. Hey, Sean, what were you doing at Oscar and Stanley's place? You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. Um, you know what? I saw them kissing the other day. Kinda weird. Say the right thing, Sean. You know it's actually normal for people in love to kiss, right? I know. I just mean, they're really cute together. I hope somebody cares about me like that when I get old. Good job, Daniel. And good job, Sean, responding the right way. People just need to love each other. That's it. It's so simple. All our life possessions are in here. And she seems happy with that. Is there like a wait for Karen option? Or... This feels weird. Normally, if you have to wait for somebody, there's like a wait for 
this person option. <laughs> super wolf to the silver runner. Copy. I hid something super cool for you to find. Will you accept this quest to find my secret treasure? 10-4. Okay. You're on it, Nano. If I can find you in a forest, I can find anything. Yes. <sighs> Thanks, Sean. Listen carefully. You must find the two items that will reveal where the treasure is. Deal. I just Go explored everywhere. The item is near the place with many wings that cannot fly. That's, that's it. That's your clue? You can do it, big brother. <laughs> I hope. His accent is so awkward. Sure. It's outside. It's so cute, though. Okay. So, I don't know. This looks like it has... You're in the middle zone. This looks like it has wings, but doesn't fly. But there's nothing interactable. Ah, well, it's good thing I didn't turn around and leave because <laughs> what do we have here? Hmm. A hidden clue. Ahoy, matey. I found a map of a way. Yeah. Don't lose it because you'll need it to match up with the other part. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Now, arr, for the second item, you'll need to find something that eats the sun. Uh-huh. Sure. W warm? Warm? <laughs> Not too far. You're warming up. You're warming up. Warm. Just grab it. You're here. Yeah, your hints are a little obvious, kiddo, but it's all right. You're only 10. X marks the spot. Ah, right over there by the car junk. All right. See, it does, it's not too bad. This is actually a pretty good drawing. It's not too bad that I explored the entire compound already because now I already know where all of these things are. Found it. Nice. So that's helpful. And it's a tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Yeah. Another match up to the other paper. Then the treasure is yours, Captain Diaz. Ahoy, matey. I think I have the whole treasure map. Wow, your accent's bad too, Sean. Needs work. Dig. Hope you know where to go. That's a cool ass map you drew, dude. It is pretty cool. Chris told me everything about treasure hunting. All right, so it's oh, around. You're right there. Just look around. Just look around, uh, huh? It burns. It burns. <laughs> uh, it burns. Dude, we're on fire. Get back. <laughs> You're way out there. Oh my goodness. I'm looking around. Tell me it burns again. <laughs> You're warm. There we go. But does it burn, Daniel? D does it burn? Oh man, you're right there. Just look around. All right. <laughs> Ooh, looks like something's buried here. An earring? Yes. I think I have found the hidden treasure. Found this under an old trailer. Looks like gold, right? Um, I'm not a prospector. Fight it. It looks like the real deal. Sure! You know what time it is. Victory! Dance time! Come on! Time to get 
shots. Come on, Sean, dance. Victory <laughs> dance. Yeah. <laughs> you asked for it. I did it too, so they didn't feel alone. I hope you did it too. All right, we did it. We have a good relationship with our little brother. I think you're spotting mom's truck coming There back. we go, okay. Yes, 100% her. Gotcha. We'll help her out with the groceries. We? Hmm. <clears throat> okay. I guess we'll help out with the groceries. Um, where is the truck with the groceries? Um, more like no service anywhere. It's coming from behind! Uh, I came from the other side of the road. Alright, well, it's fine. It's alright, I guessed wrong. It's okay, it's fine. in the car with you or are you David yeah we hear you hey what's up hey good morning <laughs> howdy Sean how was the town trip <laughs> hate these trips uh, people look at us as if we're aliens here come the sand people <laughs> The deserters have returned with offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> oh, I missed you. Next time, you're coming with us. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Looking good. What's your secret? Defying death on a daily basis. And hydrating. Oh, right. Can't forget your goodies. Hey, thanks, Angel. Here. Ah, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. Take care. Hey, so how did you guys like your night in the canyon? When I walked up to his trailer and saw that his name was David and I'm playing a Life is Strange game, instantly my instinct was like, why would they put two characters named David in Life is Strange? It's very specific. And then I was like, mm, it's kind of a generic white guy name, so like maybe... There's no reason for it. But why? And this is important. Why does it look exactly like David Madsen from Life is Strange 1? I don't even know the question that Karen asked me. I like instantly, like my eyes fogged over, my brain turned into TV static white noise. And I was like, why is that David from Life is Strange 1? Why is that Chloe's stepdad? It was amazing. So many stars, so quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it, stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, mom. How was the town? Town life always sucks. <laughs> but we got something for you. Think fast. Whoa, yes. Thanks, David. <laughs> you want to play catch, Danny boy? Totally. It looks Me just like boy. him. But I'm way better now. No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a kid <laughs> and play. <laughs> yep, Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. You've all been a good influence on him. About time you boys went camping. Hope Daniel didn't get scared by all the critters. Yeah, not anymore. He's seen a lot worse. And that made him tougher. And he can defend himself. You're right. And he does like to show off. Maybe too much. I don't trust you him. You boys have been here over a month. And I still can't get over Daniel's... <sighs> skills. Me neither, but I never figured it out, so I don't try anymore. Well, take it from an old soldier. But 
You trained him well. Wasn't David Madsen in good military kid. too? Thanks. I tried my best. Is it? It cannot. What? I guess it's reassuring. Be him. What do I know? Never met someone with a superpower before. It has to, to be, be him. Wait. Not always easy, but he listens to me. I don't know if I did right. Guess you never really know. Listen, raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Trust me. Combat was easier. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, you didn't tell me you had kids. How many? <laughs> None. I was a stepdad. Oh my or, god! In her case, a step dude. <laughs> Before her mom died, we never got along. Oh she my gosh! I was stupid. We were like oil and water. And she was always starting shit. Guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father. Especially one like me. I just had no clue how to deal with her. Wish I did. How did but he get here? Eventually made our peace. Anyway, you can't go back. <sighs> nope. Thanks for talking, David. Better start my delivery now. And that is where we're going to be ending today's video. Oh, they're setting something up here and I'm excited to see where it leads. The final episode has me on the edge of my seat as it should be, as it should be, of course. What did you think? Leave me a comment and let me know. I always love to hear from you. I love interacting with you all. I try to like as many comments as I can. I try to respond to as many as I can and it really gives me a good sense of where you're all at. So. Thank you for those of you who do leave comments. It means the world to me. Please remember to like the video if you enjoyed it. Share it with all your friends so they can enjoy it too. And of course, please remember to subscribe to Strange Rebel Gaming so you don't miss the next video. That's all. I love you all.